Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it Hello my darlings Hope you're all okay Welcome back to another video Um if you're new here, my name is Max and I upload videos on this channel three times a week and I do all sorts of things including hauls, beauty, fashion, vlogs, cooking, cleaning, travel, a little bit of everything lifestyle on this channel. So if that's the kind of thing that you're into, please subscribe down below and um, yeah, join my little YouTube family. It'd be great to have you and to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. So... Um, I've just been for my physio and um, they've given me some exercises to do basically. So yeah, and they've started me off with three exercises every day and then they're going to send me another appointment um, and see how, how I get on. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Nothing else to report, um, really, as regards um, my back pain. It's still pretty much the same. It's not as intense as it was, um, like, earlier on in the year. You know, it started mid-December last year. But, yeah, it, if I'm standing for long periods of time or walking about for long periods of time, then it's worse but yeah anyway i'm not gonna harp on about it but oh, <laughs> there's a new shop opened in our town and it's called ted's and it's um a little supermarket kind of thing and all the stuff in there is really cheap because it's close to date so i went in and had a little nosy and i thought i'd just share with you what I got, so a little haul in the car. <laughs> Only picked up a few bits. So I got these, these uh, Sensations Toy Sweet Chili. Les really likes them and they were 75 pence. So I got those. I think I spent about eight quid in all. Then I got these salt and vinegar twirls and they were two for a pound. That one's upside down two for a quid for those I love those blast from the past then I got these these Oreo Cabri coated and there's four packs in there I'd imagine there's two in a pack yeah two in a pack and there's four packs and they were just a pound so yeah I'm looking forward to trying those then I got these these pop outs I really like these and these were two for a pound as well. And I've got barbecue and salt and vinegar. Really like those. And then I also got some HP sauce. And this was two quid. What's the date on it? Can I see? It is uh, June. June 2024. So £2.50, uh, two pounds for that. And then I picked up these. Oh, I've picked up the long one. I picked up a uh, salted caramel. And I thought I'd picked up two salted caramel, but I haven't. This is just normal coffee. But what I should probably do is uh, mix these together so it's a bit stronger. Because uh, I like a strong coffee. And they was a pound a pack. And that is everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's everything that I got in my little from Ted's <laughs> so um, I did have a look around at the, the charity shop as well but I didn't see anything that I fancied so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go back home I'm going to have something to eat and then just potter about um, got some washing to put away and stuff like that so yeah, just a normal vloggy vlog from me. Oh, and just a little update on my mum as well. Uh, the care home got in touch with me and they've been giving mum this um, aura morph, which I'm presuming is um, morphine, like in a liquid form. And uh, they said that she seemed a little bit brighter. So, honestly, that I just couldn't get over the fact that, you know, she's... Uh, she's come round a little bit and I got her out of bed 
and she was sat at the table and she was eating some food so that's good news isn't it um i haven't heard anything today so no news is good news but i will uh, message the manager of the care home um a bit later on and just check to see how it is today but that was sunday um that um the manager messaged me and said you know that They'd got her up out of bed and she seemed a little bit brighter. So, yeah, that is fantastic news. I tell you what, my mum is a soldier. Honestly, she's got the constitution of an ox. It must have. It must have. So, yeah, I'm going to um, head home now. Uh, and, like I say, I have something to eat. So, I'll see you all in a little while, OK? I've just had this gorgeous little travel bag turn up from this brand called Simple Tome and it's a four-in-one travel bag and I'll tell you what, it's so cute. I have got a coupon code for you for you to get 20% off. I'll leave all the details down below but this is perfect for travelling. So I've just popped it on my suitcase as you can see on my hand uh, cabin bag and this could be used as your hand luggage. It is really sweet. So it comes off here and it can be used over body as well, over your shoulder or cross body with this handle. It's got two cup holders for your cups. Now I've only got this big, big cup here, but it does fit in. And then you can adjust these little toggles here to hold your drinks in there, whether it be bottles of water or iced coffees or coffees or anything like that. And you can fit two in. How cool is that, that you can fit your drinks in there? And then when you turn it round, so it slides over your hand luggage and it's got two Velcro straps inside, inside here that zips open. And can you see the Velcro straps here? They just wrap round the handle and then it just zips back up that zip does come off completely so you can get in there and then at the back here you can put your tablet or your phone in now my tablet doesn't fit it's a bit too big my tablet is i think it's 10 inch so you'd get um a seven seven to eight or nine inch in there i'd say seven but definitely your phone would fit in there and you can still use it through this plastic here so you can still you know touch the screen and it works but unfortunately as i say my tablet doesn't fit so i can't really show you that um but i will put a little video on the side here from off the website just to show you um, what it looks like. In fact, I may overlay it or it may be on the side of how you can use that with your phone or your tablet in, in there so you can see. And then it's got, it zips open. Hang on, let me just tip it down like this for you. And you've got a pocket here where you can fit your passport and all your papers, you know, your travel essentials and stuff like that, your money, because you're limited to what you can take on the plane these days, aren't you, in, in your carry-on. So, yeah, that's perfect for your passport and your tickets, your drinks and your tablet or your phone, which are absolutely essential. So thank you so much, Simple Town, for sending me this beautiful little travel bag. And that's where it's going to stay. It's going to stay on my case and it will definitely be used as my little carry-on uh, hand carry on when I do go travelling. Love it. I'll leave all the details down below. It is already on sale, but you can also get an extra 20% off using my discount code. Okay, thank you very much. And yeah, let's crack on with doing a little bit of uh, tidying up and putting some washing away. And then I'm going to dye my hair. And yeah, let's have a little potter around together. Yeah. Empty bottles of red wine laying on the floor from last night. We got a little drunk, yeah Now I'm a little numb, mm -hmm. Spending hours by your bedside Talking till it's dark out somehow Can get you off my mind Don't wanna say goodbye, bye, bye, bye Maybe 
maybe we should take it slow I don't feel too comfortable Jumping into something new right now Yeah, I don't really know anymore How to feel something again Think I'm just scared to fall in Don't wanna go the time, yeah, can't tell another lie, mm-hmm. and baby I know you want more than this, but you know I can't afford your kiss, so I'm staying for the night, but then I gotta say goodbye, bye, bye, maybe we should take it slow, I don't feel too comfortable, jumping into something new right now. So okay, guys, I told the washing put away. These are my pyjamas that I'm going to get changed into because I'm not going anywhere today. So I'm going to dye my hair, have a shower, put some clean pyjamas on. Um, and I think I'm just going to take the Easter stuff down in the hallway. I haven't got a box or anything to put it in. So I'm just going to lay it on the floor for the time being because Les says he's got one in his garage. So I've got to get out there to get that. And um, yeah, just put my hall table back to how it was until my stuff comes from Timu. So I think we'll do that, then dry my hair, do a bit of skincare, and then that'll be the end of this vlog. So yeah, let's go into the hall and sort out the hall table, okay? Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand, my favourite TV shows are capturing. So that just happened. My chandelier has just fell and smashed. However, only one of the the little parts has broke and it's broke into three. So Les is gonna salvage it for me and glue it all back together. Um yeah, so what can you do? So that's just gonna stay there for a minute. Les is just having a coffee and then he's going to get his glue out of the garage and stick it all back together for me. So I'll just carry on putting my little bits and pieces on here that I was going to do anyway. Bloody hell. And I'm leaving my little bunnies on here because I kind of like them ones. So they're staying. But I'm just going to put these ones away. I think that'll be okay for now. I have got some stuff coming from Timu, like I said, um, for this table and a new wreath for the door and some other bits and pieces for the summer decor. So yeah. Oh, I know what I have got. Hang on. There we go. That will do for now. So, yeah, I'll see it in the bathroom. Um, I'm going to dye my hair now, so I'll see it in the bathroom. Hello. It's actually the next day. <laughs> um, yeah, I just finished filming yesterday and I just sat down and did bugger all. So, I've been and had my nails done today. Because me and Les are going out on Monday. We're um, going to meet some friends up the Midlands for a meal, nice meal out. 
So yeah, I thought I'd do my hair today and um, been and got my nails done, as I said. And I really do like them. Um, yeah, and just, I'll be all nice and prepared, ready then. I can have a chill day on Sunday and then we'll be shooting off on Monday to go and see our friends. Um, also as well, I went to the dentist and this is what they did look. See that tooth there? That, that's my own tooth and that was covered with the veneer and the veneer had split. So it feels ever so weird. Um, they've got the veneer off and they have like measured it all and colour matched it and sent it off to the lab and it's going to take two weeks for them to make it and then I've got to go back and have it fitted. So yeah, it feels so weird. That being my own tooth, but yeah. So it won't be long and it'll be finished. Anyway, I am about to dye my hair, like I said. This is the dye that I'm using this time. It's the Garnier Nutrice Ultra, Ultra Cream and it's in dark brown, just a dark brown. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna jump in the bath and you know, shave all my bits and everything. <laughs> my legs and my arm bits. Um, and then I'll, once I've done my hair, we'll go and you know, I've dried it and everything. We'll go and do a bit of uh, evening skincare because the time's ticking on now. Um, yeah, I think it's coming up to about four o'clock and I want to, oh, it's probably past four o'clock. I want to try and get this video up tonight. It'll probably be a little bit lighter than normal. It's normally up for about six, but it'll probably be about seven tonight. I hope that's okay. So yeah, I'm just going to get this colour on my hair and uh, get cracking, okay? So I'll speed this bit up as always and um, play you a bit of nice music. Oh, and I just wanted to say before I start, thank you all so, so much for all your beautiful comments um, regarding my mum. Uh, it really does mean the world to me and so many of you are going through or have been through the same thing and all the love that you sent to me, I'm sending it back at you. Oh, it's stuck in my head. I'm sending all that love and support right back to you all. I really do appreciate it, I really do. Um, I did say at the beginning of the video that mum um, is not doing too bad. It seems to have like perked up a little bit, so, but I will keep you informed if there's any change or anything so once again thank you all so much so yeah let's get these greys covered up bloody hell the weather's been beautiful today for a change it's been really sunny and warm so i'm supposed to be having um a nice weekend so i hope i can get some washing on the line and that tomorrow but yeah anything we get up to over the weekend I will uh, obviously vlog. That's it. I'm going to jump in the bath now and I will see you in the makeup room and we'll do a bit of evening skincare. I'll okay? see you in a bit. Okay, I'm out of the shower, I've dyed my hair. I've just clean, I cleansed um, with face scrub first to get makeup off. And it's this one, Fade Out Advanced Brightening Exfoliating Facial Wash with Niacinamide and Mulberry. So that's like got um, little beads in it, so it scrubs the dirt out. And then I cleansed again using this sky, uh, Six Ways hydrating daily cleanser so these are the two cleansers that i'm using at the moment and i'm really enjoying them now i haven't got any toner i forgot to get some while i was out i knew there was something that i needed but yeah i've got this um face spray by this works it's like um it says it's a morning expert wake up spray so i've just been using that to close my pores but before I do that. I'm going to shave my face because it needs doing and I haven't done it in a while. And I just use one of these blades. This one is actually from um, Le Cura Aldi. So um, 
this is the last one. Ooh, that light's bright. This is the last one. Um, and yeah, I love to shave my face. It's not too bad, but yeah, I thought I'd, you know, have a proper pamper while we're here. Now, I don't know if any of you shaved your face. Let me know down in the comments if you do um, dermaplaning. Um, I just find that your makeup sits better and it gets rid of all the dead skin. Now, you're not supposed to do your top lip, but I always do my top lip um, because that does come back thicker. But I always do it, um, yeah, and my chin and everything. So I'm just going to do that, okay? Won't take me long. So the the dead air that it gets off and the dead skin. Okay, I don't know whether you can see. Ooh. <laughs> it's the best feeling ever though. When you do this and then do your skincare because your skin feels that soft and smooth. And I've got a random spot appeared right here in my chin. I very, very rarely get spots. I haven't suffered with spots since I was bloody in my teens. And uh, yeah, so I don't know whether it's uh, all the chocolate that I've had over the last couple of weeks, you know, the Easter eggs and stuff. Because, you know, I'm not normally a massive chocolate eater, really. And I've developed this spot all of a sudden, so maybe that's what it is. That's it. Don't take long, especially if you keep on top of it. I try to do that like every month or so, you know, when I feel that it needs it. And people say, oh, you should do that. It'll grow back thicker. It doesn't. On your top lip, it does because you're not supposed to shave there at all. You're supposed to um, bleach that. Oh, bloody hell. Battery's gone just in time. <laughs> You're supposed to bleach that on your top lip and not shave, but I've always bloody shaved it. I shouldn't really, but well, it is what it is. So that's the face shaving done. I'm just going to spray a little bit of this, um, what did I say it was? Morning Expert Wake Up Spray. Not that I need to be being woke up at the moment, <laughs> but yeah, we'll do that and then do some moisturising and then dry my hair. Smells lovely, really refreshing. Eye cream that I use, I'm still using this one, the Black Snail Collagen, um, the Snail Moussing. It's, yeah, it seems to be in a, a, be a green with me. So I'm just going to carry on using it until it's gone. And then, um, see what else I've got in my box of goodies that needs using up. So that's my eye cream. I don't know whether any of them work. You know, age, you just can't do anything about it, can you? Hyaluronic acid. Because my skin does feel a little bit dry after shaving it. So I always put some hyaluronic on just to give it some hydration. To still feel some... <laughs> it feels so nice though. Don't forget your neck, down onto your chest. Oh, that's so clean, I'll oh, quick dry my hair. It's always best to let your products soak in your skin, you know, between between layers. So the longer it soaks in, the better. So I'm just going to let that soak in and uh, quick dry my hair. Oh my. Yeah, talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. Baby, what you gonna do about it? Not really bothering to style it today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to put my jammers on, so but I will put the straightness through it in a sec. For my evening night cream, I've been using this. Um, it's by MGC and it's Sleeping Facial Firming and Anti Wrinkle. So I've been using this every night. 
I think this, I don't know whether it was in a beauty box or in one of my mystery boxes that I bought. I can't remember where I had it from, but it is really nice. It really is. And I've been using this every single night. I mean, have I noticed a difference? I don't know. Do you guys notice a difference what skincare you use? I mean, does any of them get rid of um, wrinkles, really? Because, honestly, I don't think they do. I think they help with the fine lines, I suppose, and they help prevent more coming through, maybe. But in my opinion, the only thing that gets rid of your wrinkles is Botox. <laughs> and I haven't had any of that for a long time. But this is really nice and it smells absolutely beautiful. It really does. I hope that's what's gone for Monday. It is drying up now. I'll um, probably pop a bit of soda creme on it tonight before I get in bed. Oops. <laughs> So, uh, next we have got to put on my, where is it? Here it is, my lip mask. I always put this on as well. And it does make your lips really, really soft. When I went to the dentist the other day, I did put a post up. I had to have a needle in my gum up here because he had to drill that veneer off as i said earlier on oh my god you should have seen you should have seen my face and the needle i had the needle at 20 past about 20 past half past three in the afternoon and it did not wear off until half past 11 of the night i couldn't have anything to eat i tried to have some spaghetti on toast it was dribbling all out my mouth my mouth was out here and my lip was all floppy les was proper taking the piece out of me as you can imagine he was calling me floppy lips and floppy flaps and all it <laughs> and it took ages for it to um to wear off i've never had anesthetic in my you know in my gums or in my mouth last that long ever but it, it just felt like I mean it wasn't out here it felt like it was but I mean it was swollen and my lip was swollen and Les says Les says it still looks a bit floppy I think he's taking the piece but uh, yeah honestly I'm glad I had it though because um, I don't think I would have been able to cope without any pain relief while he was drilling they're off but I think sometimes you know when you're at the dentist the sounds are worse than the actual what you're having you know the actual treatment you're having done the sounds of the drills in your head and, and when he said I've got to have a needle I was like no I don't want and he says well I says can I have the gel instead and he was like no he says this is going to be painful I'm telling you he says just close your eyes he says don't look at the needle and to be fair it did hurt when i was having the needle it was a little bit uncomfortable but it didn't hurt i've got quite a high threshold for pain i think really when it comes to things like that anyway needles and stuff they don't bother me but in my mouth they always have i've always been uh, afraid of the dentist since i was a kid um up in the midlands the dentist i used to get to up there they used to knock it out you was just totally like you was going in for an operation just out of it um and you'd come round and all the work would have been done like you had to have somebody with you obviously to take you home and stuff but um yeah the scrape and polish was oh my god it was so painful he went so deep and he says that he still needs to go deeper and get some more um from like the edges like of my gums and that and he said that um, what he'll do, he's going to get my veneer fitted and everything first. And then I can have a, a deep, another deep clean. But he'll, um, he'll give me anaesthetic all over my mouth. And I said to Les, can you imagine what I'm going to be like having all my mouth numbed and not just part of it i couldn't get my words out and speak properly when i'd only had part of it numbed so god knows what i was i'm going to be like if i had to have the whole of my mouth numb so i can have a bloody deep clean 
<laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'll be glad when my um, veneer's done. And that'll be my, my teeth all sorted then. And I'm so pleased with how they're looking. They look so clean. But I'm thinking of having um, composite bonding on the bottom. I'll see. But that'll be like in the future. There we go. That's the hair done. Just going to get my jammers on. Okay, back in a sec. Oh, that's it. I feel loud's better now. All I've got to do now is a bit of deodorant. My wild deodorant, I love this. It smells so good. And I know not everybody can get along with it, but I really like it. I'm getting along with it just fine. Love that. And, of course, I've got to spray a bit of perfume. Does anybody else put perfume on before they go to bed? I always do. So I'm going to put on my Miss Dior that Les bought me for Christmas. I love this. I've started using it. Um... It was still in the, well, it is still in the box, but it was just over there, not being used. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? Oh, yes. It's time to use it. That smells beautiful. Love that. And that, my darlings, is me all ready to go and get this video edited and uploaded for you. Um... So it's going to be quite late because the time's ticking on now. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Because I know in the lighter nights, people are out longer, aren't they? In, in the winter, you can upload a bit earlier. But in the summer, I tend to upload a bit later. Um, let me know if that's okay with you guys. If I upload a little bit later, now the lights... The, <laughs> the nights are getting uh, lighter because you spend more time outside, don't you? So anyway... I do hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already. It would really help my channel a lot and it would be great to have you join my little YouTube family. And I will see you all on... Now, I'm not sure... Yeah, there probably will be a video on Monday because I know we're going out, but what I plan on doing is vlogging over the weekend, especially if the weather's nice and we do some bits and pieces outside. You know, I can give, like, the outdoor kitchen a clean and stuff like that. So um, I'm hoping to get something like that done over the weekend if the weather holds out um, but i'll keep you updated on my community post anyway so i'll make sure you've got your notification bell turned on so you don't miss any uploads that i do or any posts that i put out uh, thank you for joining me today and spending some time with me and i will see you all really really soon i love you guys loads to